Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of ABAP programming. How we can create transaction code for the programs. As a part of ABAP dictionary, we already studied how to create transaction code for tables, which maintained through SM30 transaction code. Now our target is to create transaction code for the programs. Now we all know transaction code is a shortcut to access any SAP application. Now in the previous videos, we created the programs. Suppose if I want to go for any of the program, what I need to do, I need to firstly go to SC38 transaction code. We need to pass the program name. Suppose I am passing this program name. Now we need to execute the program. We need to give the input and the output will come. Now customer is saying, I will not go to SC38. Why I should pass the program name? It is very difficult to remember the program name for me. I will not click on to execute button. Just give me a transaction code. Give me a shortcut. Whenever I will put that transaction code, I should directly get this particular screen. I will give the input and the output will come. So our target is to make customer task easy because customer will not go to SC38. Customer will not remember the program name. Customer will not execute the program. Customer is saying, no, I just want a shortcut. Whenever I will put that shortcut, control should come to the screen. I will give the input and check the output. So our target is how we can create transaction code for the programs which we developed. Now we all know whenever we want to create our own transaction codes, that transaction code is SE93. So we will learn how to create transaction codes using that transaction code SC93. And this is always the real projects. It's, it's a technical person responsibility. Whenever they develop some program, it is their responsibility to provide the transaction code along with the program. So I just put the SC93 transaction code. Now I will give some name to the transaction code. Suppose I am saying ZORD. You can give any small name because it's just a shortcut. And first name should start with Z or Y. I will click on to create button. I will give the short text. Suppose I am saying transaction code. Now, if you remember, when we created the transaction code for the tables, which maintained through SM30 transaction code, we choose the fifth radio button, transaction with parameters. Now we are creating transaction code for the program. And we have two radio buttons here, program and screen. And next radio button is program and selection screen. If you remember in the previous videos, what we develop every, whatever the programs we develop, it has selection screen or input screen. And you remember what the first word in every program, what is the first word in every program? If I will go to the program, which we develop, the first word in every program is report, is report. It means we need to choose which radio button, program and selection screen. Yes, we have an input screen in our program. We have report word in, in our program. In the future, we have the topic module pool programming or dialogue programming. At that time, you will create the transaction code using first radio button, program and screen. But now in our current scenario, Yes, we need to go for second radio button because we have a selection screen. We have an input screen. We have a report. We have an executable program. 
you created the executable program so we need to choose which radio button program and selection screen this is the mistake especially freshers do these kinds of mistakes yes so just recall at that point of time that you are creating a transaction code for pro you are creating a transaction code for executable programs or you are creating a transaction code for module pool programs in the future we have the topic module pool also now in our current scenario we will choose program and selection screen i will go for okay now if you see thousand number came automatically and how the thousand number came automatically in front of selection screen when we started the topic selection screen or input screen at that time we put so much stress that selection screen number or input screen number is always always thousand suppose if i am running this program this is selection screen or input screen if i will go to system status and what is the number you can see the number is thousand so thousand number came automatically as we choose that transaction code we choose which radio button program and selection screen now i will put the program for which program we are creating transaction code i will pass this program in now i will choose all the three check boxes as of now sap gui for windows is applicable but if customer is using other types of gui also so for the best part always select all the three check boxes i will go for save i will save this as a local object now our transaction code is ready we need to give this transaction code to the customer because customer will not remember the program name he will he or she will not go to sc38 he or she will not run the program he will always always go for the transaction code now i am passing the transaction code you can see i directly move on to the input screen or selection screen and we will give the input and this is the output this is how a project works yes it is a technical person or a bap consultant responsibility that whenever they develop a program always develop a transaction code along with the program because customer always always prefer transaction code so what is the summary of the video in this video we studied how to create transaction code for the program in this particular video we are creating transaction code for the programs which has a selection screen or input screen we are creating transaction code for executable programs and we all know in the executable program what is the first word report is the first word so with the help of sc93 transaction code we created the transaction code and we choose which radio button program and selection screen in the bracket it was written report transaction and the selection screen number 1000 automatically appeared we gave the program name we save the transaction code and then we run the program with the help of transaction code so that's it in this particular video thank you